Becky Duffy tells me there was already a limited supply of formula because of the pandemic, but after that recall, it went down to none. It has not only affected the families who have children that were on one of the recalled formulas, but those families that are currently utilizing one of the equivalents. Her seven-month-old daughter, Savannah, one of them. She recently transitioned to Neocate. It's similar to the now recalled Elecare. Now with formulas becoming more and more difficult to find across the board, families are just kind of grabbing at what's available, and it may not be what their child necessarily needs. Duffy says some parents have made the tough decision to wean their babies off formula early. Some places that maybe have some left, um, people are unfortunately selling them at a higher cost. And uh, for families who maybe already couldn't afford it to begin with, your Walmart, Kroger, Meyer, IGA are unable to supply you with the formula you need. What do you do? Duffy was determined to find what her daughter needed. I spent the day on the phone with every local pharmacy. <laughs> no luck finding the formula. A call to the makers of Neocate did help. Duffy says people need to be aware that moms are fed up. It's really breaking my heart. The one gal posted in an infant acid reflux group that I'm in this morning. She posted the letter that she wrote to her senator. I mean, just a mom like me has taken it upon herself to, you know, write to her senator, you know, pleading like, is there anything we can do to help these manufacturers ramp up the production? Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News.